Bright light. <laughs> Hello. It looks like everybody's kind of running away from a plague victim with this <laughs> big blank space. So Beacon Farms is a community benefit society. We set up about a year ago and we're still pretty young. So uh, I guess my asks are kind of the same as my offers at this point. Um, what we're about is safeguarding some of Bristol's highest quality land. I went to a crowdfunding workshop last week where we agreed that our new strapline should be soil is sexy. Because we keep saying to ourselves, oh, nobody cares about soil, nobody's interested in soil, we can find another way to talk about um, But actually soil is quite sexy. Bristol has some very good soil and it has some of the best soil in the UK. Under 3% of the UK has soil. It's good, really good for growing vegetables. And it's really hard to grow vegetables when the weather is shit and climate change is happening. It's very important that we look after this soil. Um, so part of our aim is to use this soil to grow vegetables instead of building houses on it or doing anything else with it. And so therefore we want to get hold of some of this land, either buy it or lease it, and put growers on it to grow food for us. And we'd like to support new entrants into market gardening. I have to compete with the drumming now as well. Um, so yes. There are actually some brave people out there that are, not all of them are young, some of them are early retirees that want to get into growing horticultural crops for a career and they learn how to, to do horticulture and then they're looking for some land to start on, they have to get infrastructure, they have to do their business plan, they get going and it's tough and sometimes they don't make it. So we'd like to set up plots where they can actually get their business going. We'd like to help them get the enterprise skills they need to make a success of their business. Um, so we're kind of a, our idea is to have incubator starter farms on really good Bristol soil. Um, we did have some land lined up and some money to buy it, and then the farmer decided he didn't want to sell. So my first ask is, have you got any really high quality <laughs> veg growing land? And I've actually had a couple of good conversations tonight with people from UWE, because UWE does own quite a lot of this really good land. Um, so I'll be sending some emails tomorrow to see if we can talk to them about starting a university farm instead of starting some more sports fields. Um, both are important, but it's about most appropriate use of this land. Um, so watch out for things about the blue finger, because that's the Bristol name for this high quality strip of land. There's lots of stuff going on around it because of metro bus junctions and things like that. And we're Beacon Farms is about starting market gardens there. So yeah, number one, land. Number two, um, we've actually just heard, I'm probably not supposed to talk about it, that we've been recommended for some green capital funding um, for a project that we've put forward called the uh, Bristol Urban Food Producers. So it's Beacon Farms is leading on it, but it's lots of partners in Bristol of urban food producers. And we're, we're going to be helping do lots of different things. Um, including helping them to find land, helping them to get enterprise skills, helping them to get group discounts and share machinery and infrastructure and find new markets. And one of the things we want to do is start something called the Bristol Certificate, Livelihood Skills for Land Workers, which is to help all of the apprentices and interns who are already on these projects to get some of the skills that they need to make their businesses work when they stop being interns and apprentices. So another ask I have, is anyone out there, which this room seems to be full of people who know about enterprise, writing good business plans, um, knowing about finance and budgeting and cash flows and things like that, we are going to be wanting to give some mentoring to some of the growers that are out there. We also want to develop this certificate with the Crossfields Institute who will be certifying it, but we need to know the sorts of things that you think are really important for any business person to know, and specifically horticulturalists, that we can build into this certificate so they have the skills they need. So if anyone's interested in that, that'd be great. Thanks. Bye.